Hello, my angel. Welcome to Healthy in Heart, and I hope you're healthy in heart, mind, body, and soul today. Um, so I have an order from Azure Standard that I just unboxed and stuck over here on the deep freezer. Sorry, my daughter's trying to um, photobomb. <laughs> um, so I haven't ordered from Azure Standard in a long time because I haven't needed anything. So I did need to order some things. So I got a couple other things to try. Um, and I found this awesome book, Wild Crafted Vinegars. I love to make fer homemade ferments and, um, I think, I don't know if I have any, um, videos of it or not. If I do, it's a long time ago. Um, but I love to make homemade, um, ferments and vin vinegar is one thing I haven't really tried. I have made, um, like the homemade fermented sodas and things like that. And by the way, there's a lot of rumors going out there, around out there in a lot of different societies. I heard it in an old church that I used to go to. I just heard it yesterday or heard it when I read a book from a raw vegan that fermented foods are rotten foods. That's not true. Um, fermented foods are pre-digested foods. Yes, they are beneficial to your body. So whoever tells you that is uh, anything opposite to that is um, not tr is is so there's not either not informed or they're lying. Um, so yeah, you can look up information. There is plenty of evidence that um, fermented foods are really, really, really good for your gut microbiome, which is good for you. Um, so yeah, I got this book and I want to try some of the vinegars out of there. Um, over here are the large lima beans. I got four of the five pound bags. Didn't need 25 pound bag of it. So I just got four of the five pound bags. Um, I got some vital wheat gluten. I use that every, every week, multiple times a week when I make bread, usually. Um, I got uh, six uh Quartz. Yes, six quarts of honey. Uh, the wild crafted um, honey, raw honey. This is, I got three of the orange blossom and three of the berry wild uh, flower honey. These taste so delicious on their own, but I also put these in my homemade um, fire cider recipe, which I will be doing a video soon for. But I got three of those. And these guys, I ordered this through the mail, and shipping was a hundred dollars. This cost total is uh, three something. I have my, I have several reasons for the re, uh, for not meeting the truck locally. Um, not the least of which is fine, but they come packaged like this, wrapped up really well in bubble wrap which I wanted to show you, and I don't even know why I'm unwrapping this right now. Sorry. <laughs> habit. It's just, it's just habit. They come wrapped up in that, and then they came um, wrapped up uh, two and then four in a bag like this, so they did not move in the box. And then they came in a box that said, handle like eggs, do not drop, which was kind of cool. Um, as if. The postal service listens to that. I've seen packages thrown before, but um, I got some Tulsi tea. If you've never tried Tulsi, it is um, holy basil is another word, another name for it. Um, very, very health promoting, but also very, very delicious and very fragrant. Um, I really need to grow some more this year. Uh, it's been, I think, three years since I've actually grown it in my garden, and I do miss walking by and just, you know, brushing by the leaves and smelling the, the wonderful smell that's released, but I do enjoy my Tulsi tea, our holy basil tea, and I do drink it quite a bit. Um, I got some more allulose. This is a really good sweetener. Um, it's a natural sweetener, and safe this big boy right here is what I use the most it's the the wheat that I use the most is the hard red wheat and it is a 50 pound bag which um, I'm probably gonna need Todd's help with uh, this are some lotions that I wanted to try and I just I've left them in this package because I wanted to show you 
how they were shipped so that there's no leakage because um, the post office doesn't like packages that leak. So Azure's, I'm quite impressed with the way Azure Standard ships their items as far as keeping it leak proof and whatnot. So this is aloe lotion. Um, and I have, it ha has also has argon oil. Um, it's natural. Um, it doesn't have the, the really bad ingredients in it. Um, but, oh. The, the tops of everything is taped with electrical tape as well as the honey. I forgot to mention that to prevent leaks. So I'm trying to find some lotion that I can use. This is Neem Hand and Body Lotion. That does not bother Todd. He has a very sensitive nose. Uh, well, mine is really sensitive too. So like um, chemical synthetic fragrances I can't handle it just sets my nasal passage on fire um, which is pretty much all of the uh, scented scents that go in the fabric softener and things like that I can't handle it um, this one is patchouli body lotion coconut hand and body if nothing else I can do the coconut because that one doesn't bother him better to put it on your body than in your body <laughs> um, pumpkin spice desert essence uh, lavender it's one of my favorite smells and if it bothers him I'll just use it while he's at work so they're not gonna go to waste island mango yummy <laughs> mango is one of my favorite fruits uh, tropical coconuts And these are, I think, two, maybe three different uh, companies that make these. And the Sweet Almond Hand Lotion. Um, so, because every now and then I have a breakout of eczema that just is usually when something creeps into my diet that um, I'm allergic to, which is like nuts. And I just found out that I can't have uh, sunflower seeds. My body doesn't react well to that. So... Yeah, there it is. It just softens my skin. <laughs> so that does it for my Azure Standard Haul. Thank you so much for joining. I will be having another one soon because I ordered a couple other things that they were completely out of. Although one of them said there was still over 3,000 in stock. So something's not right there. But anyway, <laughs> I will be having another order soon. So, um, and I think it's been like six months since I had my last order. But anyway. That's neither here nor there. Y'all will bless you and keep you and give you shalom. Until next time. Y'all bless.